Okay, folks, we're doing a cute wagon arrangement for fall. Right here on my take on home and garden. Folks, I thought you'd want to see how I would put together this wagon for Paul. Okay, now, I have everything laid out, like you know, that I might want to use. I have some under background greens, which are, you know, some are turning now for fall. And I've got pumpkins and gourds and Indian corn and then I have florals and accent pieces and just about follow the color of the rainbow here and the different color bands. Alrighty then, so you know we're gonna put a little piece of pine in the bottom that acts as our oasis. Then I've got this Really cute, you've seen turning brush. For the background. Different size pieces. Some of this I've cut up. Okay, so we'll want to mimic that in the front. And my take on a moving vehicle is that if it took off down the lane everything's going to lay back just like you saw with the sleigh at Christmas time that's how I think it would be arranged because nothing is going to just stand straight up if it's take taken off down the road <laughs> okay so I want to pick that up in my arrangement as well Let's look at some under pieces. Now with our farm wagon, we're going to have a harvest. So we're not going to fill it with orange leaves. We're going to have a harvest of goods. So we'll start off with this wheat bundle. Put that right down the middle maybe. And then how about this glorious berry branch that could be behind it? Now we're going to mimic slightly the basket we did for the mantle because this wagon is going on the hearth. Alright, just so you know that part. If you're down south in the Americas or Australia, you might have some eucalyptus like that I'd like to see this is turning now you're getting your plums and soft reds instead of green and blue at summertime here's a branch certainly we can use of some crab apple for the fall Alrighty, I'm going to want to, we got weed here, we're going to want a barley branch in here. Then we're going to haul some fruit to the market. How about a peach branch on top? Look at this. Oh my goodness, too cute Indian corn, the little miniature corns. Okay, we're not going to lose it inside the wagon. We're going to tie it like to the side of the wagon, which they really would do because it gives you more room. I'm liking where this is going now. How about something for the back background? Maybe... A branch like this turning oak leaves you know just so we have that idea of fall 
but it doesn't dominate fall. You know, like I talk, that everything fall is not orange. Now we're even going to drift a bit and we're going to go with some lavender here. And we have a couple different kinds, as you know. Look at this. Ooh, what it does. We want to be showy and pronounced. We'll need some fill. We'll fill in with these antique white peony. And mums. Maybe even a yellow one down here in the middle. Not to dominate. And in the front again. We're going to want to just kind of fill that in a little bit. Now what do we got? Some really cool looking gourds. We're going to have pumpkins and some fruit. There's three different colors. And get that white element in there too because we use so much of that on the fireplace mantle. Now we got an apple, we got a plum. Just want to make sure I got enough to fillers in here. Kind of helps hold that in too. I'm liking that. Here's a bunch of tomatoes. Certainly we'd see in our harvest wagon. Now we need some nuts. How about acorn? In the front's a tad light. Let's go with a bunch of lavender again, different kind, in the front and the back. And you know this is a one-sided wagon because it's going against the fireplace, so this is our front view. This is the one we got to worry about the most. I got some gorgeous picks with the white sunflower little nuts and berries and that's gonna you know that's gonna work right in here without covering anything up if we're covering we're we're not using it right and it's just a waste okay so in the front we can get a little barley branch and some hops <laughs> Love that shape and color. Look at this. Woo! We got berries that we're bringing to market. Maybe one more of these, huh? A little more showy and stand it up a, just a bit. We gotta have a Scottish thistle in our wagon. I think we need more lavender. Now again, I'm staying creamy white because that's what we did on the mantle. I think we need to tuck in some of this lavender. Too good. Something about it. We'll show off with a bit more of that. And one in the front. Just a whisper of those maple leaves. Look at that. Look what that does. Now there's four leaves. Okay? 
not four bunches. <laughs> Look at this, just a just a whisper to carry that idea of fall. I like hooking little pieces over because it would hang down or fall down naturally. Oh my goodness, guys, I don't know. It's getting too cute. One more little flare. Almost like a basket in itself. I like to do around, not all the way around. You know, you want a view. So, just to show you, I think for, for what I'm trying to do here, these are loud. See, we don't need these with the other arrangement. It's, to me, it's not going to work. Now, we'll do some wonderful, oh yes, we'll do some wonderful other ones that'll have plenty of yellows. I want this cute, nutty bunch. And probably it's talking to me that it needs to be in between those two creamy sunflowers. Now I've really got to take you and show you all around. So folks, if you liked our video today, you'll let me give a shout out to Pamela McFadden and Yvonne LeBron. Hello ladies, thanks for coming by and leaving such cool comments. And we got Lou G. Gee Lou, it's been really good to hear your comments, uplifting notes, thanks a lot. <laughs> Sam from India, doing a lot of work down there with the problem. So, take care Sam and be safe. And Maria Vario. Hello Maria, take care now. Thanks for coming by. And Carol Pfeiffer. If we mentioned you before, you must be extra special. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Give us a like, a share, a comment, and give us a new subscriber. Thanks guys. And we'll see you in the next over the top decorator video.